Let's explore AI Coder. So what we're looking at on my screen are the results of analyzing 1,043 responses. And AI Coder has analyzed each of those responses and suggested 136 codes for those responses. Um, 799 of the responses were actually coded um, at this point. If we drill into Open More Registers, you're going to see the ideas that were extracted from the responses to create the Open More Registers code. We can drill into an individual segment or idea and see which um, pieces of the response or what the, what the response actually said um, to get this, to generate this idea. Um, so these again are the main ideas. These main ideas have been combined to create open more registers. So that's what the system has done. Now some of the tools that we have available to us, um, we could tell the system that we want more codes or less codes, we're not going to do that right now. Um, we are going to go ahead and net it. So netting the codes will give us a hierarchy to where we have um, nets or buckets and then individual codes that have um, similar, similar theme to them but different ideas will be combined in those nets so that we can then produce a more thorough overview of what's going on with the data. Once the codes are netted, then we can come in and change things around if we need to. Some of the cool things that we have available to us, um, for instance, in stock availability, I would want to move this. And what I can do is search for all of my codes that have something to do with stock. And now I can decide where these codes that have something to do with stock should go. Again, this was all created by generative AI. There are going to be some things that we want to that we want to move. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of these to inventory and stock management. There we go. And now like stock availability, out of stock issues, um, I'm probably going to put stock availability and out of stock, increased stock. Yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead and put some of these together. And that's the ease of like overseeing what the system has done. The thing that I'd like to talk about is this keywords in our code book so we can go down and see what the keywords are, for instance pricing, and rather than pricing maybe I want to say let me just look for PRIC and now I've got all of the things that have something to do with pricing. Um, some of this is about scanners so I'm going to put those and where they go, the shoes with scanners, let's add more, there we go. Uh, pricing accuracy, improved pricing accuracy. Let's pull those two together and put those up here under pricing and promotions. Um, pricing consistency, clear pricing, clear pricing labeling, pricing accuracy, pricing issues, competitive pricing, lower and more competitive pricing. I'll put that in there like that. Um, and competitive pricing. Doo -doo -doo. And that would actually go in, this one would need to go into labeling, and this one would probably need to go up here. So I quickly cleaned up my pricing net. Um, when I'm finished, what I would do is export this to Coder. Actually, first I would save the code book so that I can use it for future projects. Retail version 2, hit OK, code book is now saved which means um, my saved code books are all listed here. Those saved code books can be used at any time if I wanted to reanalyze or analyze a new data set. Code books are available. I have a whole database of saved code books. Um, I could also split this into sentiment so I can see my positive sentiment versus my negative sentiment. Um, those sentiment and then my non-sentiment. So those sentiment nets would stay in place when I export this to Coder. Um, when I'm ready, I can go ahead and export decoder so that I can continue, I'm going to overwrite, hit OK, so that I can continue um, with my quality check with my normal operations in a scribe coder. Okay, so once it's imported back into a scribe coder, you'll see I've got my positive net and then my neutral net and then my negative net. Okay, and then um, all these things that the others are the partially coded responses and I can expand those back out. There we go. Um, and when we drill into an individual response, let's go ahead and search for these, you'll notice that it shows me the piece of the response 
that um, cause the code to be applied. So we can always see not only how the code was applied, the time date stamp that it was applied, and the piece of the response that goes with it. And we would continue with our quality check here and eventually deliver this as usual. So that's our overview of AI Coder. Again, um, AI Coder is available through Ascribe Coder. It does take a few minutes to analyze. When you analyze, if you hit Generative AI, it will use our Generative AI technology. You can give it context, and you can also choose a codebook language. So that's that. Thanks so much.